All right, welcome back everybody. Let's talk about river stages. And uh, these are the latest crest informations uh, here from the National Weather Service. Montezuma cresting today at 27.4 feet. Clinton 27.4. Uh, cresting tomorrow here in Terre Haute at just over 24 feet. Saturday in Hudsonville and Riverton at 24 feet on Saturday. A little farther down the line, Vincennes at 23.3 feet on Monday. You know, I've seen the river higher and I've seen it get higher than this, but all of these flood stages and all of these crests are, are actually rather critical because this is where it really starts to affect people, lowlands, floods, uh, roads, and, and uh, fields and places like that. It just is a real hassle. And so here are the crest information uh, numbers for the White River, Thursday in Spencer, Thursday in Elliston, same thing for Newberry Thursday, Friday on Edwardsport, and Petersburg on Monday. The Embra River, this one is really, uh, this is about as high as I've seen it in quite some time. Wednesday at 24 feet at Newton, uh, Wednesday at 26 and a half feet at St. Marie, and 39.6 feet uh, in uh, Lawrenceville on Thursday. That's pretty high, and that's the reason a good portion of Jasper County is flooded. The roads and fields and things like that. Travel is really touch and go over there, and so especially at night, I would advise that you travel with caution. Let somebody know where you're going to be going and when you expect to arrive. Now, for all area rivers and streams, we have a flood warning through January the 7th, as you might expect. But the rain has moved out, and so the rain is out of here. And now we have a mostly cloudy sky tonight. I did have a report of a few snow flurries earlier today down around Richland County. But uh, that was about the only report I had of any real precipitation today. 34 now in Terre Haute, 35 in Linton, 36 in Vincennes. Only 34 in Paris, says 32, Rockville 31. Wind from the west at five miles per hour, six in Paris, west in Robinson and five, and uh, Vincennes at eight. So temperature in the 30s, and even with a light breeze, a little bit less than 10 miles per hour, puts a real edge to the air. So the wind chill is 30, Casey 34, Robinson 30 and Linton 30 and uh, Vincennes 30. Now, if you're just going out to take the dog out or something like that, you're okay. But if you have to stay out for any length of time, this really starts to get to you. So here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast through the overnight hours tonight. We pick it up at 1 a.m. We go through the overnight and then look at tomorrow morning. Here's a little bit of a wintry mix of precipitation right down here. And then it moves up a little farther to the north. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a little more widely spread. So I have just a slight chance of a wintry precipitation mix just a little bit during the day tomorrow, maybe 20 to 30% chance, and that's about it. It's not gonna do much more than just create a few little slick spots on the road, but that'll be it. So cloudy and cold, not as breezy tonight, 30 degrees for the overnight low. And then cloudy and cold, a wintry mix possible tomorrow. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, 39 degrees for the daytime high. Cloudy and cold. Cold west breeze tomorrow night, 28 degrees for the overnight low. And the seven-day forecast, well, we have that little wintry mix. New Year's Eve, Thursday, 33 degrees. And uh, then on Friday, 30 degrees. And then Saturday, Sunday, it looks like we'll have some sunshine. Highs in the 30s overnight lows in the 20s. 